hello viewers welcome back to our channel this afternoon uh today we'll be making a lovely beaded shoulder bag see this is your beaded shoulder bag see how it looks with a fringe look you see how it looks it has a fancy look in there then a zipper you see this is what this is what we'll be doing. You see the zipper and the lock. You see the lock. So this is what we'll be doing today. Uh does this look like what you've been looking forward to see? Stay tuned, don't skip any part of this video so that you will get the full understanding of what the procedures on how this is being made. At the same time, you can leave a comment in the comment section and your questions will be answered. This is the one with that first. If you look at this, uh, this thing, analyzing this um, bag, you see it has the back side, it has the front, then it has the flap. This is the flap. This is the flap of this bag. And this flap has to do with uh, matting. You see the matting, then the fringe, uh, the fringe design on it. And the beads we are going to be using today, we are going to be using a rice bead and a beans bead. We are going to be making rice and beans. I know you like rice and beans, right? <laughs> I know you love rice and beans. So we'll be making use of rice and beans for the production of this bead. You see the handle? The handle is, is matting. This is matting. If you don't know how to do your matting, I'll drop a link under this video in the description box so that you can watch how to mat and get this handle. You see, that's what we have on the flap also. But what we'll be concentrating on right now is how to get this on the side. You see, we have the side, we have the front and the back. So this is what I will be doing. But I will be making a little changes. I will be making a little change on it. You will see the matting, we have rice. We have beans, we have rice, we have beans, we have rice, we have beans. But the one I will be making today, this is my rice and beans. Beef, and I'll be using a 0.60 fishing line. I'll be using a 0.60 fishing line. This is the one I'll be doing today. The only difference for you to know that you can change it into whatever design you want. The only difference I'll be making on this, we have the beans, the rice, the beans, the beans, the rice, the beans, the beans, the rice, the beans, the beans, the rice. That way, till I got the the size. This is the size I will be using. So this is the front. This is the front, and uh, this is the side. This is the side. You see the side. I did the same thing. The beans, rice, beans, beans, rice, beans, beans, rice. This is the same thing. So I'll be showing you how to get this first. So what you'll be concentrating on is a little bit tricky if you don't concentrate. That's why I say don't skip any part of this video for a better understanding. If you look at the way it has been arranged, you see it has been arranged. But if you don't follow it serially, if you don't follow it squarely, you'll see that at the end of the day, you'll be having it as a reverse split. It will be coming as a reverse split. But if you follow it keenly, you will get something like this at the end of the day. Again, concentrate, mind your turning, because if you don't turn well, you will not get a better result. You will not get what you are seeing. I know you like, you are liking it already, because me, I'm loving the design already. So, this is what we'll be doing. So, like what we have, we had, we have the rice. We have, we have the beans, Martin. Then we picked two. I don't know if you know how to read bead. I'll be teaching how to read bead very soon. I'll be teaching us on how to read bead so that when you can read bead, you can do any, you can make any, you can produce any design on bead making. Once you see the beads, you can read through and know what is being done. Once you see the bead, even if it's if, if someone was holding it afar off and you like it, once you read through, I I I I am a fan of bead making. And because of that, it moved me, it pulled me into learning on how to read beads. I can remember a day I, I, I saw somebody with a, a beaded bag. We met in a cab. 
and I was just interested. All my, I was keenly watching on their bags. The person didn't even understand I was watching the bag, but while I was watching the bag, I was reading through. At a point, I opened my bag, brought out my pen and paper, and was jotting it. I, I remember I got home that day. I did, I practiced it, and I got exactly what I saw in the cup. So, when learning on how to read, read, read a bit making is very important so that you can always follow the step the way it should be. So what are we going to be doing now? What we are going to be doing, we'll do uh, a, a, mat, a, a single mat, then we'll pick rice bead. We'll pick two rice bead on the left and the right fishing line, two rice bead. Then we'll cross it on, on one beans bead. Once you cross on one bead and beans bead, then you pick three on one of the beads. Remember you are turning now. You pick three beads, then cross on the last one. It will now face the direction you will be going. That will determine the direction you will be going. Let me do that and I will get back to you. So the first thing to do is to take your fishing line and using a 0.60 fishing line, you see, I'm using a 0.60 fishing line, you cut the length you know you can handle. The length you know you can handle. If you're a beginner, it's advisable you cut it, you cut a short length. You cut a short length that you can handle so that you won't get confused as you are working with your beading. So we'll pick our our beans bead. We are picking four of it. When you pick the four of it, you pass your fishing line. You pass your fishing line through it. Soon I will make a video where I will be using uh, bead terms and telling you what it means. You see on this, uh, the last, the fourth one now, I'll cross on it. Crossing on it is, I put this one, that this one now will come through it again. You see what I've got? I've got this. So now it has given you a left and right fishing line. No longer one, we now have two. So I'll pick my rice bead. I'll pick two of my rice bead on my right, on my left, and two on my right. Then pick one beans bead. I'll cross on it. You see, I'm crossing on it now. You see the way it is. That's why I say get the length of the fishing line you can handle. This is what I've got now. This is what I've got. Let me bring the camera close so that you'll be seeing it. This is what I've got now. So now, what I will do, I will, I'm coming towards the right direction. Because I'm coming towards the right direction, on this left, on this left, you pick your your beans be three of it. Put the three on the left. Then you pick the right fishing line and cross on it. Doing this now, if you look at it, you see that my fishing line has turned. It has turned. You see, it has turned. Instead of it coming on this top one, it came on the side one to show you that it has turned. Stay on the left bead. I will stay at three. One, two, three. And I will cross with the right fishing line. You see it now? You see the way it looks? If you are getting something like this, that is to say you are following me as you are doing it. This is it.
So now I'll pick my two rice bead on the left and two rice bead on the right. Beading is complex. But when you follow it, you will like what you're doing. I'll pick one bean bead and I'll cross on it. You see it now? You see I've crossed on it. Now, we'll start connecting. This is the time to start connecting. I'll place it on top of this one. I'll place it on top of this one. Then use my right fishing line. Pass through this, the closest beans bead from the previous step. You see it now? You see the way it is? Now, on my right bead, because I want to turn to this side. On my right bead, on my right, I will pick two because you know we are making circle of four and i already have one two here so i'll pick two again to make it four this is it one two so this will give me four this is it you see it now See, it has start giving us the design we just saw now. See, it has start giving me that design. So now I am turning because I'm turning to this side again. I'll use my right, my right fishing line now. I'll pick three. I have one here, so I'll pick three to make it four. Always remember, it's circle of four. One, two, three. see it now so i'll pick two rice beads on the left and two rice beads on the right then i'll cross with one beans bead see it now this is it. You see it now. You place it on it again. You are arranging it. You are doing the arrangement. Then use your left fishing line. Pass it through this up one, up beans bead, the closest one. You see, once you pass it, it will give you something like this. It will give you something like this. Now I'm turning to this side again. <laughs> we'll keep turning. So now you are turning. As you are turning to this side, you are to pick your beans bead on your left fishing line mind you we have two beads there beans bead there so what we need is two to make it circle of four so you put two there and cross on the last one two then you cross on the last one you see it now you see i've turned this way so i'll still pick now having one now i want to build up another one I'll 